Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto markets. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to farm Pokeswap tokens on the Pokeswap decentralized exchange hosted on the Sora network. So make sure you stick me until the very end and you smash the like button on this video. You comment down below if you are bullish on the polka dot ecosystem. And if you're not already subscribed to Crypto Empire, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Also, turn all notifications on as well and let the gains be with you. So starting off this video, the first thing you're going to need to farm Pokeswap tokens on the Pokeswap exchange is you're going to need a Polkadot wallet. The Polkadot.js extension is the go-to for this. I'll leave the link down in the description below. It's just like MetaMask, but it's for Polkadot. It's called Polkadot.js. You're also going to need a MetaMask wallet. So once you have your MetaMask and your Polkadot.js wallet, you're going to head over to Pokeswap.io. Now, what I have here is I have some XOR, I have some Sora in my MetaMask wallet, and I'm gonna need to bridge it over so I can be on the Sora network. So how we actually go about bridging tokens from the Ethereum network over to the Sora network is the team over at Sora were handy enough to build a bridge for us. We're gonna head over to pokeswap.io and on the left-hand side, we can see bridge. So once we're here, we do have some XOR, like I said, in our MetaMask wallet and a little bit of Ethereum to pay for the gas. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure it's coming from the Ethereum mainnet to the Sora mainnet. From now, we're gonna choose the token. So we're gonna choose XOR, okay? And we're gonna do max. We're gonna put our 2.11 Sora to the Sora mainnet from Ethereum. So we'll go ahead and hit next. We're gonna be paying a gas fee of 0.01 Ethereum, okay? We're gonna go ahead and confirm that transaction. Okay, we're gonna get a prompt on MetaMask to confirm. So we're gonna pay the first fee, which is $5, six bucks, not too bad. While this transaction is processing, I will mention that currently that Sora token is trading at around $400. Okay, this has an all time high of um, $981. And this is ranked number 413 in market cap. Now Sora is the network that it's going to be a parachain most likely. I do see Sora getting a parachain slot on the Polkadot network. So that means it's going to connect to the Polkadot relay chain and you can host your smart contracts on the Sora network. So I see this token as massively undervalued and it's slept on right now. As we can see, 17,000 people do um, like it on CoinGecko and that number is gonna grow exponentially and 17K is a lot already. So now we have to pay our next fee, which is going to um, bridge that XOR over to the Sora network. So we'll go ahead and confirm that and we'll wait for this to go ahead and go through. Shouldn't take too long um, and we will see how it goes. So yeah guys, the Sora token, the XOR token, it's going to be top 50 for sure in market cap once Pokeswap goes live because Pokeswap is hosted on the Sora network. So I see this being an integral part of the Polkadot ecosystem. So I think it might be wise to prepare now ahead of time because I can see Pokeswap having an impact just like Uniswap had and just like PancakeSwap had on the Binance Smart Chain. Now keep in mind, the maximum supply of the Pokeswap token is going to be 10 billion, while the maximum supply of Uniswap is 1 billion. So it does have a higher maximum supply, but it is going to be released over years and years. About four years, you'll be able to farm rewards on Pokeswap, which is what I'll be showing you how to do in this video, is farm your Pokeswap and XOR to earn Pokeswap as a reward. This is going to be taking place over four years. Now, obviously the earlier, the better. So if you are interested in acquiring your Pokeswap tokens, I would suggest that you don't wait. Okay, we just got some confirmation that a transaction went through. Okay, so the first transaction went through um, and now we're waiting for the second transaction so we receive our tokens on the Sora network. So I will be right back when this does fully go through. Okay, so after about five minutes time, we are back and we can see that the conversion is complete. We successfully bridged over our XOR on the Ethereum mainnet to the Sora network. It is that simple using the Hashi bridge on the pokeswap.io website. Highly suggest that you do this for yourself so you program it in your mind because when the future comes around and pokeswap is the main decentralized exchange, in crypto, you wanna know what you're doing, you wanna have that competitive advantage. Okay, so now let's go over here to swap. Because now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be pooling together 
liquidity on the XOR and PokeSwap pair. So this way we get rewarded in PokeSwap over time. The reason we are picking this pair, because we can see over here from this Medium article from PokeSwap, PokeSwap users will earn PSwap tokens for providing liquidity in any XOR paired pool with a threshold of at least one XOR. So I highly suggest you get at least two XOR if you're gonna be buying PokeSwap or, or just use Ethereum if you just wanna use Ethereum, it doesn't really matter. So if you contribute to the XOR Val, XOR PSwap, XOR DAI, or XOR ETH pools, your reward will be doubled. Okay, so I highly suggest you use one of these pools. Now you do face the risk of impermanent loss, but that is just a risk that I am willing to take. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna choose PSwap, okay? And let's go ahead and buy 1.03 worth of um, PSwap for our XOR. Let's go ahead and hit swap and confirm. We'll go ahead and enter our password for a Polkadot.js wallet extension. We'll hit sign transaction. We'll let that submit. And now let's watch how fast the PokeSwap exchange is. See how long this takes to confirm. Okay, so the transaction already went through. Now keep in mind, I do want to mention that if you do purchase XOR, there's another way to farm PokeSwap is what I want to say. Over here in the article, you can buy XOR from the token bonding curve. So if you buy with ETH, DAI, DOT, or KSM, you can't do that yet, not until the hard launch. Um, you'll earn PokeSwap as a reward. So pretty much ETH, DAI, PSwap, and VAL. Um, so pretty much if you wanted to do that, you would just hit this gear in the top right and select token bonding curve, okay? So when you can bridge Ethereum over from your Ethereum wallet, from your MetaMask wallet, you can buy XOR using Ethereum on the token bonding curve. So I'll just briefly explain how to do this. I won't do a transaction, but it's important that you know this so in case you want to do this option. So what you would do is you would buy ETH with XOR on the token bonding curve, and then you would get rewarded PSwap just for using the token bonding curve. Because the token bonding curve is essentially what governs the price of XOR, and it's important to have reserves of ETH, uh, DAI, PSwap, and VAL in the token bonding curve. So they reward you for putting your ETH in the token bonding curve and buying XOR for that. But anyway, we're not gonna be doing that in this video, like I said. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add liquidity. We're going to pool our liquidity to earn PSwap over time. So we'll come over here to the left where it says pool, and we'll go ahead and add liquidity. From here, we're going to deposit XOR and PSwap. So we'll go ahead and hit max for PSwap. And you can see that that's going to use 1.02 XOR. Like we said, you need at least one XOR in here to properly earn rewards. So this is why I made sure I put 1.03 um, worth of XOR for the PSwap. So we'll go ahead and hit supply now. And we can see that we're going to be getting 36.8 um, liquidity provider tokens, XOR PSwap pool tokens. So let's go ahead and confirm that. Sign this transaction. Okay, after about three seconds, love PokeSwap, it's so efficient. Um, we can see that our liquidity has been added. It's that simple. It's really not too complicated. I highly suggest you learn how to do this. Get familiar with PokeSwap because this is going to be a very utilized decentralized exchange in the future. We just saw we had a very big crash for crypto and all of the centralized exchanges literally went down at once. It was like it was coordinated, right? Coinbase was down. Binance was down. Everything literally went down at the same time. So decentralized exchanges are only going to be gaining in popularity. The polka dot, um, you know, network isn't even fully live yet. Once it goes fully live, once PokeSwap has its hard launch, this exchange is going to be blossoming. So that is why I recommend you get familiar with it now. And then over here is the rewards tab. But this isn't going to be where you collect your rewards. I'll show you that in a second for adding liquidity. This is if you were holding XOR in your wallet from before and you got the airdrop. So this isn't where to find your rewards. I will show you how to do that right now. You need to head to the polkadot.js.org. This is pretty much the Polkadot website. So from here, in order to check how, to, how many P swaps you get rewarded for adding liquidity. So you're gonna come up here to the top left and you're gonna hit down. Now, this is the Polkadot relay chain, right? Polk the relay chain can't have smart contracts. The networks can have smart contracts. So we're gonna go down here to live network. And as we can see, all of the live networks are here, Plasm, we want Sora, okay? So we're gonna hit Sora, hosted by Soramitsu, and then we're gonna switch it up here. 
Okay, we just switched to the Sora network. It loaded up beautiful. So now what we do is we come over here to developer and we hit RPC calls. Once we are in RPC calls, we're gonna hit this little down arrow here. And we're gonna scroll down until we see PSwap distribution. We're gonna click on that. And all we do now is hit submit RPC call. And as we can see, the claimable amount is zero because I just added liquidity to this wallet. But this is where your rewards are going to accrue. And this is where you're gonna see how much PSwap you are earning for adding liquidity. Now the Polkadot network is not fully out yet. It's kind of complicated. That's why you have to go through these steps. It may be confusing to some, but I assure you, after you do it the first time, it'll be like a walk in the park. So this is how you farm Pokeswap tokens. That's how you can see your rewards. It's that simple. This decentralized exchange will be interoperable with every other blockchain when it is live. So I am extremely excited. The Polkadot ecosystem will absolutely flourish. We have to remember that Dr. Gavin Wood left Ethereum when he realized that Ethereum couldn't exactly scale and then he went and built Polkadot and Kusama, which are blockchains that are made to be interoperable and made to scale. So this is why I am so bullish on the Polkadot ecosystem as a whole. I think you should definitely look into this ecosystem too. If you were just getting into crypto, it's important to not spread yourself out too thin. Become an expert at one ecosystem, really familiarize with one ecosystem. This way you don't have all of your money spread out everywhere and you find it hard and you know confusing to as an investor you want to make this as simple as possible and by sticking with one strong ecosystem you can do that and you can play from a position of strength so this video showed you how to use the hashi bridge to move your erc20 tokens over to the sora mainnet and then buy tokens on the pokeswap exchange and then add liquidity on pokeswap as well this way you can be rewarded in pswap and as we know, Uniswap absolutely took off the token. Pancake Swap, the cake token, absolutely took off. So history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. When people realize the power of the Sora network and the Pokeswap exchange, I think it can capture a lot of market share and we can see upward moving price action for the Pokeswap token. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Also, smash the like button and subscribe to Crypto Empire if you are not already subscribed. And make sure you share this video with your friends so they can familiarize themselves with how to use the Pokeswap exchange. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.